In this video, we will see how can we serialize our data sets. But before getting started with the serialization, let's see what is the requirement of serializing the data set object. In the previous video, we have already noticed how can I fill multiple data tables inside a data set. Now let's say my data set is written up completely and I can retrieve the data anytime I want. But since it is just an object, when my application will be terminated, it will be destroyed and in our next execution, again I will have to follow the complete cycle where I will have to establish a connection with the database and then I will populate my data set again. So rather than doing that, what I can do if your data is not getting updated very frequently, you can also store the data in your application server rather than the database server. As let's take if this is our database server where the all the database tables have been stored and this is my application server. If you are working in a web application, that, that could be your web server as well. And here, this is your client. So, whenever you will be retrieving the data from the database, firstly the request will go to the web server and then it will forward your request with the database server. So, this is the com complete cycle that will happen every time. But if you are sure enough, like your data, uh, the intent, the frequency, I should say, the frequency of your data updation is very low, and you are sure, like your data is not going to be changed on a daily basis. Like for example, if I look, I'm looking for a flight from New Delhi to New York. So it will not be changed on a daily basis. It's a fixed schedule, and on a weekly basis, I can get the same schedule again and again. So such data can be stored in the web server also so whenever a client will make a request it can directly be provided by the web server only so for storing the data on a web server generally i will go for the xml and json format so here in this video we will see once the data set is generated how can we write the data set data in the JSON or XML file? So let's start doing it practically now. Now, in order to serialize the data set or the data tables inside the data set, we have two options here. Either you can write it to XML or you can write it to the JSON format. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. So, uh, first of all, let's see how can we start writing the data in the XML as this is the older way to write the data in the XML. In the data set as well as in the data table, we have a method to write the data in the XML format. So let's see what is there. So as you can see here, uh, here what I have done, first of all, I just call that get em employee table which we have already created early in our earlier videos as well. A table having three columns and four records. So inside this particular table, we have put some data and now I want it to write in the XML format. And for doing that, as soon as I call that in the table, I got the data like EMP is the name of my table. And here, what I'm doing is I'm just getting this table here. Now, if I want to write the data in the XML format, you can see here, uh, let me call it EMP, all right. So this particular data set and data table both have this write XML method in which you just need to pass the address where you want that file to be created. And as soon as it will be executed, we will get our XML file having all the records inside it. So let's click here. And now the path which I have given is e drive in data folders. Here you can see there is a data.xml file. And if you open it, you will be able to get all the data which we have written, like employee, that's the name of your data table, inside which you will get the EMP ID, EMP name, and department ID. Means all the fields which I have designed for that data table. 
and similarly I have one more button here write to JSON in which the same data table will be written in a JSON format so for doing that first of all you will have to configure your NuGet packet manager so for doing that I'll come to tools and here you will get the NuGet packet manager so package manager and here uh, just click for the solution and here I have already installed the newtonsoft.json as you can see there's a check means it is already being installed if you want you just need to choose that particular one uh, you can also make a search with the for the newtonsoft.json package like here you are getting all right so what you need to do you can choose your uh, application name and you can say install as it is not installed but for me this particular one is already installed so I don't need to reinstall it and I'll be able to access the Newton soft so in the directories also in the next page also I have included this Newton soft dot JSON which is actually providing me the required class called JSON convert so as previously I did I just get this employee table the digital table which I created here in this particular method and as soon as I got that I'll simply call the JSON convert dot serialize object alright so as soon as I will pass this data table object here the string will be generated in which the complete data will be converted in the JSON format and now using the basic file handling approach you can write that particular string in a file so what I have done I have used the stream writer as I have already included the new system dot IO here so inside that system.io you will get the stream writer and this file class so writer is the object for me file.create text again the same location with a different extension all right and uh, I'll simply write this particular JSON string in this writer file all right and then I'll have to close it to release the buffers so that the data will be saved in that file so let's execute this and click the button and see how this JSON file will look like so I just clicked here and let's go to that location again and here now I'll get one more J data dot JSON file so if I will open that you will be able to get each and everything in the JSON format it is in a straight line but still can be read by any program for your ease let me show that how this JSON format is looking like if in case if you don't have any idea about it so this is how the JSON format will look like alright uh, even the previous format was uh, able to be read by any programming language but uh, in just order to s make you realize like how the JSON file look like it is the attribute in the double quotes then the value separate by a comma then again second attribute with the value and comma then third attribute and this single record will be placed inside the curly braces and for the second record again a comma separator will be there and then in the second curly braces the uh, another record and all the data will be stored in these square brackets so this is how your JSON data look like now in the same way you can serialize the any data means whichever data set or data table you have in your program and in case you want to make them available on the application server or your web server you can either write that in XML or in JSON format to get serialized